This is Passion 106.8. Ever thought that being a producer of a sci-fi series would be out of this world? In 10 short years, he has gone from producing audio dramas in his bedroom to producing professional audio and video productions, some of which have been shown on the Sci-Fi Channel. Marcus Durham speaks to Bill Baggs. <laughs> My name's Bill Baggs, and uh, for the past two years I've been producing a series of science fiction audio dramas with some of the actors from Doctor Who. They're under the banner of Audio Adventures in Time and Space, and we release, we manage to record and release about one every month. I've worked with Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred. I started off by doing a series with them called um, The Professor and Ace. Surprisingly, the, the, we did two to start with, a couple of years ago and they were very very popular I did a series with Colin Baker. We created a character called The Stranger. I can tell you that nothing is going to stop us completing this mission. I was so surprised at the time that Colin agreed to do it and obviously was very chuffed. And I did three stories with Colin under the banner of The Stranger. And I remember doing one which was called In Memory Alone. We were filming in the Midlands at a steam railway station with a steam train coming in and lots of odd characters. And it was a bit like Sapphire and Still. But basically we were just having lots of fun. We did a, a video called The Zero Imperative. Written by Mark Gatiss, who some of you may know, it appears in League of Gentlemen and is one of the writers of that um, BBC Two show that's doing very well at the moment. Um, I had the pleasure of working with him. He wrote four stories for, for me. In the first one, we pulled together um, John Pertwee, Colin Baker uh, and Sylvester McCoy and there's a kind of fleeting appearance at the end by Peter Davison. So we've got four ex-Doctor Who's in it. Throw the gun in front of you. Thank you. Here he is. You have that. Oh, cheers, the BBC were very intrigued initially by what I was doing. With the videos, I suppose you could argue that Colin Baker was playing a character that was very, very similar to his role in Doctor Who. The, the BBC, if they were aware of it, they turned a blind eye to it. And then, interestingly, when I do the CDs, I mean, I think perhaps using the names Ace and Professor it would trouble them a bit more than The Stranger. So they did write in rather strong terms asking me not to do it. The reasons they were giving are complicated they were they weren't claiming copyright they chose the path of passing off so their argument was that my trading name BBV looks like BBC I'll have you killed for this professor when I'm made director I don't think that's going to happen not while I have this little disc yeah my the future plans uh, are to continue we've just done a CD with Tom Baker he's written a novel the boy who kicks pigs which has gone down rather well and uh, we were asked to do the spoken word version of that which has literally just come out um, he it, it's that's a double CD CD and it's the reading and also an interview with him about the writing of the book and also about his time um, as the doctor um, so that's that was a lot of fun and we're hoping to do a number of projects with him we're certainly in discussion uh, about that the, on the, uh, some of those might be videos um, we I am working on um, continue to work on other video projects it tends to be now that we do one a year okay, room, completed. Same journey.